The first of the second set of Injustice 2 DLC characters has emerged from the depths of the sea in the form of Aquaman's arch nemesis, Black Manta. He's got some cool tricks and also a really huge head. And if you want to know how to do combos like this, commit this button notation to memory and get ready as we dive in to check out the mercenary from the deep. First, let's check out his special moves. Manta Rays is a clever pun, but also a short range beam attack that can be used to punctuate combos. Manta has several ways to do this, but Manta Rays will keep the opponent standing at about the range where Manta is the most effective. The meter burn version turns it into a full screen projectile and adds on damage. Shark Attack is a fast dash maneuver and slam that can also be used to end your combos, or close the distance from a full screen away. Most importantly, it can be used in the air to end combos as well. Meter burn it to add damage and send the opponent a full screen away. Torpedo Cannon sends out a missile that shoots up and then moves in a set arc before exploding. It's great at controlling the aerial space in front of Manta, making it tough to jump in on him. It can also be enhanced to bounce the enemy for combo start. Rising Tide is a sector style uppercut that is super unsafe on block, but it can be a great move to punish predictable projectiles and it can also be enhanced for a combo starter. And finally, Manta's Harpoon is a damaging projectile that hits from full screen, pulls the enemy close, and then sends them away. It can be fired in the air at an angle, and you can alter that angle by holding down. It can be meter burned for extra damage, and is ultimately Manta's most damaging combo angle. We should also talk about Manta's trait, which is a jetpack that gives him fully controllable flight for as long as he still has fuel. It can be used in a variety of ways, from safely navigating over projectile spam, to continuing aerial juggles, fainting jump-ins, and so on. When combined with his bevy of special moves that can be used in the air, it's a very versatile trait, and how well it's used will truly separate the good from the great Black Manta players. As far as basic combos go, here are the main ones that you need to know. Flooded is one of Manta's best combos, as it's quick, has surprisingly good range, and can lead to big mirrorless damage. The first hit is high, but the second hit is mid and comes out real quick. Death of a Prince causes Manta to lunge forward with great range for a combo that you can hit confirm into a teleport punch for big damage. Or if they're blocking, you can simply safely end the combo by adding three onto the end. Hunting the Others is a 4-hit combo that ends with a low-hitting knockdown, which allows you to mix it up by using a bounce cancel after the third hit by hitting forward forward right trigger. And finally, Scarred Scavenger is a 2-hit combo that starts with a low and ends with an overhead. The overhead is slow and easy to react to if they block the low, but it can catch some inexperienced players off guard. Now let's put all that together for some advanced combos. Forward 2, 1, Rising Tide, Meter Burn. Back 1, 1, up 3, Harpoon. This is Manta's most basic bread and butter combo that costs 1 bar of meter and solidifies how threatening he can be even from about a half screen away. Back 2, 2, Torpedo Cannon, Meter Burn. Back 3, Jump 3. Back 1, 1, up 3, Harpoon. Black Manta's low hitting combo. It's not quite as far reaching as some of his other combo starters, so you'll have to get used to the spacing. One, two, three, bounce cancel. Jump three, back one, one, up three, harpoon. A good way to land this combo on a blocking opponent is by using the one, two, three, two combo, which ends in a low hit. Condition them to block low, and then when you've got two bars to spare, use the bounce cancel to sneak in an overhead and put them in the air. Back one, one, up three, four, jump two, jump three, harpoon. This combo deals a very respectable amount of damage and allows Manta to save his meter for bounce cancels, armored back or forward threes, clashes, etc. Black Manta is a tricky character with a versatile set of tools that allow him to be played very creatively. His combos might not be the most damaging in the game, but his range is extremely deceptive, with combos like his forward 2-1 that allow him to quickly get in and enforce his game plan. Combine that with a trait that gives him fully controllable flight and special moves that allow him to completely control the aerial space, and you've got a very dangerous character when in the right hands. 
Hopefully this video has helped you get a better understanding of Black Manta and Injustice 2. If it did, why not check out some of my previous videos like these for Sub-Zero and Red Hood. I'm planning on covering all the DLC characters. Yes, Starfire 2, I know I missed her. So be sure to subscribe to IGN for all of this and more. I'm Mitchell Saltzman. You can find me on Twitter at JurassicRabbit, and I'll see you next time.